everyone. I'm Rebecca Combs. I'm here at Design and Adorn. And tonight is the night we are starting our very exciting kit of the week. New, easier, faster way of shopping for your favorite Kumihimo kits. So if you are here, you probably are already familiar with our Facebook Live shopping parties that we've been doing since March of 2020. And you know about our fantastic new kits that we offer every single week. You order them and then we make them to order and ship them out. But we've been working on this for a really long time. Um, the project of increasing accessibility to these kits because not everyone has a fast enough internet connection to watch a live stream video. Um, some people aren't on Facebook or other social media. So we wanted to make it easier for you to shop. So this is what we're doing now. Um, it is not quite five o'clock yet. Don't click the link yet. Um, Alex is gonna run in here um, as soon as we've confirmed that we're live. But the address is on the top of this frame right now. It's designandadorn.com forward slash products forward slash picturesque. And when you go there, you're going to be able to see all of the picturesque kits. You'll be able to see all of the different colors. And then you just pop it in your shopping cart, right? You know how to shop online. You just put in your shopping cart, pick out what you want and check out. You don't have to wait um, for the different kits to go live on the video. All right. Alex just popped in to say yes. The link is live, so um, you can go there now. Um, I'm still gonna be doing this live video. Oh God, I haven't hit the button for my, I, I, I've been so excited about this. I forgot to hit all the, the buttons. Um, anyway, I'm going to go through all of the kits here so that um, you can see the different sides of the pendant. But at any time, if you see what you want to purchase, you're gonna go to our website. You're not going to be commenting sold you're just gonna go to the website, pick out the one you want and put it in the cart. Hey Sue, welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me tell you about the picturesque project. So this is the picturesque necklace. Uh, this is a Kumihimo necklace. This is Congo Gumi. So that's top right down, bottom left up, turn the disc. This is an all levels Kumihimo project. Um, I would typically say this wouldn't be ideal for your very first beaded Kumihimo project because these are size 11 seed beads. Um, if you want to jump straight into this as your first project, please check out our uh, beaded Kumihimo starter guide. Um, it's on our website. I can post a link later. Um, and make sure that you're familiar with how to do beaded Kumihimo. But it is just top right down, bottom left up, turn the disc, but these are little beads. So I don't usually like people to start with a size 11. Hey, Stephanie. So here is the picturesque kit. So you're gonna have in the center a pendant by two charming chicks. We just love, 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 love these pendants. So our friend Diane makes them. They are double-sided. So you have the image sandwiched between two pieces of glass, and then you have jeweler's grade solder all the way around. And she just does the most beautiful job soldering these. She puts these little dollops of the solder on there, really gives it a beautiful artistic touch. Have this nice bail on here that accommodates our Kumihimo braid. And then each pendant is embellished with different charms. So as I'm going through the different kits, what I want you to keep in mind is that for every item number, the front image and the back image will be exactly the same for all of those kits. So say if I have like four of a kit available, all four, the front and the back image are the same, but the little embellishment charms, those may vary pendant to pendant. So I'm just gonna show one pendant for each one. So keep in mind that the charms may vary a little bit. They're always on theme and they're always super cute, but they're not identical pendant to pendant. So that's the thing you need to know. Ooh, and uh, Vicky says, love these pendants. I get so many compliments when I wear mine. Awesome. Thanks, Vicky. Um, so the centerpiece of your picturesque necklace is going to be your Two Charming Chicks pendant. And then we have made for you a custom blend of Delicas. This is one of our specialties is blending bead colors to get just the perfect smooth soup to coordinate. So here I have this beautiful 
um, like robin's egg, turquoise, blue with just little bits of white in it. So you're gonna have your braid made with size 11 delicas. And check this out. We're sort of framing the focal area. Sorry, my necklace is like really long. It doesn't wanna fit in the screen here. So we're framing our focal area with this beautiful spiral of fire polish beads. And something that's really cool in this design, notice how the spirals are on are spiraling opposite directions. That is a trick you are going to learn in the kit instructions. Um, you are going to be amazed with how easy it is. It's super cool. So we're gonna have our spiraling fire polish and for each kit, I'll show you the fire polish color there. And then at the back of the necklace, we're gonna use the stainless steel magnetic end caps. And we have the peyote stitch end cap covers with this snazzy little detail of that accent color along the edges. Your kit has the written instructions for how to do the braid, how to do the, the spiral change direction, how to do your peyote stitch end cap. Very detailed, complete instructions. And then you have the materials to make one necklace. You can go up to 26 inches long on your necklace. That doesn't count the length of the pendant hanging down. That's just, you know, end to end on your braid there. If you lay that out straight and measure it, max length, 26 inches. And I'm gonna go pretty quickly through the different colorways. Remember, um, you're gonna make your purchase by going to our website. Alex has linked it in the comments. You can just click it right there. It's designandadorn.com forward slash products forward slash picturesque. And there you will see the photos of all of the kits. I have a detailed photo of each one nice and close up. And just put that in your shopping cart and check out. Picturesque kits are $125 each, but we are running a super awesome sale right now. Um, we're going into the holiday season and I wanted to help you guys out getting your holiday shopping done early. I know you guys have heard about all the delays and we wanna make sure that we're on top of our holiday gifts this year. So if you buy two or more picturesque kits, they're gonna be $99 each. That discount will apply automatically when you put them in your cart. So make sure that you have um, all the kits you want in one shopping cart. Don't make separate purchases there. That way you get your sale price. All right, so that's that. Let me take this off so I can get a bigger picture here. Let's get going on the picturesque kits. Number one. So number one, we have a nice autumn themed pendant here. Uh, looks like this is an oak leaf on one side. Oh, let's see if I can remember. I think that's a red oak and then white oak on the other. And then, um, so two different colors there with our oak leaves and we're putting this with a beautiful blend of some warm browns. And then our spiral color is going to be uh, a marbled fire polish where we have some opaque milky white with some golden topaz there. And it's gonna be just a really lovely, lovely spiral there. So that's kit number one. Uh, remember, we do have a limited number available of each kit color, um, so don't dilly-dally when you go to check out. Um, your kit is reserved for you when you have paid for your uh, cart. Do, do, do. Let me unzoom slightly. There we go. So number two. Mm -hmm. Zoom, zoom. Welcome. Welcome, Alex. Alex has been helping me with tech support. This is our first time doing our, our new system. So I'm extremely over caffeinated for today's event. <laughs> Just so you know, if I'm talking um, excessively fast or faster than usual, it's because I've had so much tea and anticipation of this. I'm just super excited. Um, this one has a really cool autumnal vibe. Um, we have this cottage with some pheasants and some trees in the background there. And then when you flip this one over, this is uh, item number two. We have a pumpkin with the top half of a pumpkin, very vintage vibe in this design. And then it says pumpkins for sale or for trade. And we're putting this one with a 
seed bead blend, largely um, matte metallic bronze with some warm highlights of like some red violet and we have some shimmery like gold lined in there very pretty and for the spiral color we're gonna go with some metallic dark bronze Ooh, looks like i only have two available of that color kit number three uh, kit number three is Christmas. So kit number three and kit number four are the same pendant front and then they have a different back. So let me show you. So here's number three, front and back. Oops, too much, too much zoom. There we go. Kit number three, front and back. So Jen is asking in the checkout, I see the price is 125, not 99. Is there a discount code? There's not a discount code. The discount should appear automatically, but you have to buy two or more kits to get it at 99. One kit is 125, two kits are $99 each. So here's, here's number four. Let me get my four over here. So number three and four have the same front and back. excuse me, they have the same front, right? So they both have the holly and then number three on the back has a purple background with some multicolored jingle bells and number four has the Santa on the back. So the fronts of these, I'm gonna zoom in. So here we have like an old world Christmas, um, kind of like a, not old world Christmas, just vintage, like a, like a mid-century vibe. So we have a red background and then we have some holly leaves that are leaning a little bit more teal than green and a little sprinkle of some like metallic contained glitter in there. And we're pairing that with this beautiful red blend, lots of different shades and finishes of red. And then the spiral is going to be a matte metallic teal green. And number four, again, it's going to be the same front. And then on the back side, we have the, again, mid-century Santa Claus. Isn't that adorable? Look at the Christmas ornament down there. That is so cute. And Santa's just like, oh, look at the ornament. That's adorable. So three and four, again, they have the same uh, necklace components, the same delicas, the same spiral. Um, it's just the back of the pendants are different. Oh, sweet, Diana says, this was so, so easy. Yay! Vicky agrees, super easy, yay, yay. I am so excited. I've, I've been a nervous wreck all day long because uh, we're doing this new thing and I wanted it to go really well. So I am glad that you like it and thank you. Thank you for that feedback that it's easy. That helps reassure me here. Maybe I'll talk slightly slower now. Probably not though, I did drink a lot of caffeine. All right, number five, this is another mid-century Christmas. Look at this, isn't this, isn't this fun? All right, so not your traditional like red and green. This is a blue and pink and it's really fun. So mid-century Christmas, we have these cool Christmas ornaments on here, blue background, white Christmas tree. And then when we flip it over, we have a teal background with a stocking on it. And what does that say? Hold on. It says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year just says that over and over again. We are pairing this with this beautiful blend of blues to go with our teal blue here. And then we're gonna pick up the pink in this big ornament and we're gonna have some sparkly pink for our spiral. So that's gonna be kit number five.
All right, so number six, this is going to be a classic um, red and green Christmas. These pendants have actual hankies in there. So inside each one is a piece of fabric that's printed with the holly leaves and berries and then uh, it has a little bit of white on white embroidery. So the back of it is just the back of the hanky. So we're putting number six with um, a beautiful blend of greens to go with those holly leaves. And then our spiral is gonna be a nice opaque red. So that's number six. And let's see, I saw that a question just came through. Paula's asking, what about end caps? So the picturesque has stainless steel magnetic end caps in here, and then we're gonna do peyote stitch end cap covers on there. So it's a nice, strong magnet. These are actually um, five millimeter. It's a custom size that we have made. A four millimeter end cap will fit over the Delicas, but the five, it just goes on so much uh, more easily. The four millimeter, it's kind of like putting on a pair of jeans that's too tight. Here, it's just gonna slide right on, easy peasy, and then we're gonna cover it with this peyote stitch end cap cover. And of course, your kit instructions has uh, all the details on how you make that. Great question. Let's see, where was I? Number seven. Oh, number seven and number eight. This is another one of those where um, we have the same colorway with a different front back image. So, Number seven and eight, same front and back. They both have this little cute little birdie with the mailbox on the front. And then seven has a stocking on the back. And eight has, oh, what fun. Um, yeah, so number seven, uh, it, we're going to have the bird. I'm going to zoom in. So we've got the bird on one side. It's a really light, almost like Tiffany blue type background here. And then we have a blue mailbox with a fun little bird and some festive, uh, greenery there. And then on the other side, same background color. And then we have the stocking and the greenery. Number eight, again, bird and mailbox on the front, and then the back of it is the Oh What Fun with, um, I think that's mistletoe. That's what that looks like there. For our mix, we have a really light blue with a little hint of some teal in it, trying to capture um, the overall vibe of this where you have the blue background and then we have this teal here in our greenery. That's what we pulled together for the mix there. And then we're going to have this light sparkling blue for our spiral. Oh, hey, Jen says it's an English robin. Thanks, Jen. I don't know all the birds. Actually, I know very few birds. So let's see, that was number eight. Number nine is a snow person. So number nine on one side, we have a single snow person here and they are just happily hanging out. There's a little birdie on their carrot nose and you can see that the wind is whipping around them. And then when you flip it over, we have a caroling snow couple um, decked out to go caroling with a top hat and this uh, lovely fancy floral hat there. And then we got some fun charms down here, some uh, snow themed charms. Our mix of seed beads is white leaning towards blue. It's very crystally, very, very snow-like. So there's a lot of like 
super transparent touch of blue. There's a little bit of white line crystal. We have just a little hint of a very light, very light purple kind of capturing this shadow color here in our snow person. And then our spiral is going to be this nice sapphire blue there. So that's number nine. Number 10, we're getting into the to our next holiday that comes after Christmas, after winter. Um, you could do this, you could do this actually anytime, really. It's a it's a kiss ticket. So this would of course be great for Valentine's Day, but also I think for an anniversary. This would be really sweet. So on the one side. It's a ticket, and this is actual, actually a ticket, like a little like ticket that you would um, get, I don't know, if you went to a fair or something, an admission ticket. See, they're numbered, and they don't have the same number on them. This one's 55, this one's 58. So like they came off a little roll of tickets. So you have the kiss on the one side, and then on the other side, it says hug. Isn't that adorable? The soup mix here is a lovely blend of opaque pink with just a little bit of sparkle here um, a little hint of of red just a little bit to catch that red accent that's going around the kiss and that red line there around the hug and then we're going to pick up that red again to be the spiral for kit number 10. Number 11, this is the Virgin Mary. Um, we've been asking for this one for a long time. Um, at the 2020 gem show, we had this pendant and it was very popular. So we've been trying to get this one back in. It's just a really pretty image of the Virgin Mary and the Sacred Heart. Let me zoom in here. Um, I know I told you that all the all the little danglies are different piece to piece, but on the on the Marys, all of them have a cross. Um, the the little lampwork beads vary, but all of the pendants have a cross, and all of them have the metal. Oh, they actually all they they have different metals, but they all have a metal. What does this one say? This one says something in Latin that I can't read. So they all have a cross and a metal. Let me unzoom there. And then on the back, you have the, the words to the Hail Mary prayer. And we're pairing this, of course, with this beautiful blue blend that we've made to go with Mary's cloak. And then this is just the perfect, perfect match of this like, slightly golden antique beige it just is just meant to be right that's perfectly matching her veil there so that's number 11. number 12 we have the moon We have the moon with a floral motif in front. And then on the back, it says, I love you to the moon and back. Um, nice gray um, background here. So that's what we made for our soup. We have some beautiful blended grays and black, a little bit of like some uh, metallic hematite in there. And then we're gonna have a silver lined crystal for our spiral. Oh, and thanks, Richard just uh, reminded us, um, please hit that heart emoji and share the video. Um, that helps us grow. Um, we are, you know, trying to expand our reach to as many people as possible. So we want to share this video on Facebook. And also, as soon as I'm done with the live here, I'll actually put this up on our YouTube channel as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube, please 
do that. Um, once we reach a thousand subscribers, that will unlock the live broadcast feature for YouTube. And we're really excited to give that a try. Oh, yes, thank you. Um, so I don't know if you guys read the email I sent out earlier. Um, you cannot use your reward certificates if you're getting the, the sale discount. Um, I tried to find a workaround, but it's just one of the things with the software, it won't let you stack discounts. So if you're getting two or more kits and you're getting them at $99 each instead of 125, it won't let you put on an, another discount. So, um, sorry, that's just a thing. So number 13 is a teapot. I do love tea. I have had a lot of tea today. And on one side of our teapot here for number 13, we have um, a polka dot teapot. So it's red with white polka dots. And then it has like some cinnamon sticks next to it. It says tea at the top. And when you flip this over, we have a little collection there of a red teapot with a red teacup and then good idea there's a cupcake in the teapot love that and then there's a little like teapot tea themed charms here we're gonna put this with a blend of red seed beads so different shades different finishes of the red and then we're gonna pick up those white polka dots and that's gonna be our spiral color so that's number 13 Ooh, number 14, I only have two available of this one. This is our happy camper. It's so, so cute. Yep, so I just got not the two of these guys. So on, oops, get some of my beads there. So on one side, you have a cute little trailer, a little towable trailer um, with like some vintage teal green little flags and banners there. And then on the other side, it says happy camper. And then um, both of these pendants have a little teeny tiny camper charm, as well as a grill, isn't that cute? And then I, I love this little adorable lamp work bead. Um, and since they both have the same color lamp work bead, I get to do this, which is play with this polka dot color and use that for my spiral against this teal blend. So we have um, a blend of both um, matte and shiny, different teal greens and teal blues, just a little tiny hint of like a soft, um, soft lavender in here, peachy lavender playing off of those flag colors. So that's number 14. Hey Robin, um, go to the, website to make the purchase. So go to that website at the top of the screen and that's where you're going to check out. Number 15. Look at these poppies. Aren't those pretty? So on the front of number 15, we have a purple background and then we have some red and pink poppies. And when we flip it over, we see I get by with a little help from my friends. And we have made just the perfect purple blend for this one. Isn't that fabulous? And then we're gonna be playing with the red there. So we're gonna have a red spiral. That's really gonna pop. That's number 15. All right, number 16. Number 16 is already sold out, but that's that's the prickly pear. Number 17. This is a sunflower. So on the one side we have a super close up of a sunflower and then on the back it says you are the sunshine of my life and then we have some 
sunflower themed charms on here. Isn't that a pretty sunflower? And look at this blend. Isn't that just perfect together? I love that. So we have like some marigolds and saffrons and some silver lined gold all just blending beautifully. And then we're going to pick up this dark, um, dark curry luster color for our spiral. Oh, that's going to be so pretty together. That is kit number 17. What's great about sunflowers is that they're, they're appropriate for autumn, you know, if you want to like be on theme, but it's a flower so you can really wear it year round. Love that. So that's number 17. Oh, actually, we are now in the sunflower department. So 17 is my first sunflower. And then number 18. Here we have sunflowers in a vase with some blue hydrangea. Let's zoom on in here. So we have a blue and white china vase with some large sunflowers and some blue hydrangea. So that's one side. And then when we flip it over, it says, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine, this fun little graphic here. We're playing with the blue for our Delica mix. And I think we've really captured it here with a blend of metallic, matte metallic, a little bit of silver line to get a few different blues here. Just get that gorgeous blend of blue. And then this sunflower is just gonna pop against that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's number 18. And then I've got one more sunflower for you in number 19. So number 19, we're gonna have the turquoise background and this is a famous, famous sunflower painting. So we have the vase of sunflowers, some of them that have all their petals, some of them were, uh, we just have the center of the sunflower and we flip this over, we have another Van Gogh painting on the back. And we're gonna put this with a nice turquoise blend right, to pick up the background color of our sunflowers. And for the spiral, we're gonna be grabbing this topaz color from the center of the sunflowers and that's what's gonna spiral around for number 19. Number 20. Sorry, I got the trays kind of out of order over there. Okay. So number 20 on one side, we have a light misty green background and then a pink rose with some dark green leaves there. And when we flip it over, I have like a really light pink background and then some white roses with dark green leaves. So we're playing with this pink rose color here for our Delica mix. So we have a lot of translucent and luster pinks in here and we've blended together a few different shades of those. And then we're gonna pick up that light green from the background and use that for our spiral color. Very classy pendant here, number 20. Number 21, this is our busy bee. Busy, busy, busy bee. So on the front, we have a busy bee and you can see um, that silhouette of a bee there in black. There is some writing under there, but it is too teeny tiny. I don't think anyone is intended to read it. It just looks like really faint handwriting. And then on the back side, again, we have a silhouette of a bee, but this one says queen bee. Again, just some like decorative, faint, can't really read it, handwriting behind it. And for our mix, we're picking up this taupe from the center line, and we've pulled together this beautiful honey taupe color. Just gorgeous. This is a great neutral, right? You could wear this with so many different outfits. And then our spiral color is going to be black fire polish, just like our bee. 
That's number 21. And then we have these sort of like arranged by theme. So we went from B to Dragonfly for number 22. In case you're wondering, we have 33 total. So for number 22 on the front, we have a dragonfly on a light antique gold background and then it's a blue dragonfly. And on the back of it, we have a bit of a collage with a dragonfly. There's a little bird down here. Uh, the text is uh, too faint and tiny to be read, except for like one line I can see where it says dragonfly there. And then we're putting this with our blue blend, capturing that blue color of the dragonfly. And then the background color is going to be our spiral, this beautiful translucent honey topaz. All right, so Paula, um, while you're checking out, you have to make sure that you're um, selecting the color from the drop down menu. If you're just looking at the picture, that doesn't necessarily change what's on the drop down menu. So make sure that you've got your drop down menu item, and then it'll put the right one in the cart. And then when you're looking at your cart, it'll tell you what color number, and it also has a picture of what color number. So if you put the wrong one in your cart, shoot an email o over to Alex real quick, designandadorn at gmail.com, and she can help you fix that. But the, the secret to it is you have to make sure that you're selecting the color from the drop down menu, and you'll see it when you put it in your cart, it'll say what color you've put in there. All right, so here's, oops, I did number 19 already. I'm sorry, I just stuck my hand in the wrong basket. Sorry, I get distracted. Dragonfly. Oh, it's because of the basket. I need his way here at the other end of the table. Got it. 23. So again, we're with animals that fly. Butterflies. So we have a red butterfly and then more of like a golden orange butterfly. And then when you flip it over, there's a purple and then like a white, black, and orange butterfly. For our Delica mix, we're picking up the color of this red-orange butterfly and we've made this beautiful blend of red-orange in both matte and shiny, opaque and translucent, lovely blend. And then we're gonna pick up the lighter orange. We're gonna have that in a translucent sparkling fire polish for the spiral. So that's kit number 23. Oh, number 24, this one is always so popular. This is the Cardinal. So on the one side, we have a snowy scene with a red cardinal on a little icy branch. And when you flip it over, it says when cardinals appear, angels are near. And we made a snow blend with our Delicas. So we have different finishes of white and translucent white. And then our fire polish is going to be an opaque red. So that's 24. Number 25. Number 25 is a cat. This is a, a lovely tiger striped cat in a profile, staring regally into the distance. So the stripes on this kitty, we've got white and black and dark brown and some gray here. And on the back, all you need is love and a cat. 
So our blend here, we're picking up this dark brown in the Kitty's Stripe, and we made a blend of different browns, some matte metallic bronze, just a little, little translucent gold in there for some flash, and then we're gonna have a translucent red for the spiral color. So that's 25. Number 26, this is a stamp. This is an actual stamp in here, a 22 cent USA love stamp. Let me zoom in on this, if you can see it. Like there, can you see like the little perforated edges of this stamp? So it's a little brown cartoon doggy. And on the back, we just have um, a graphic design with some flowers there. The main attraction here is this 22 cent doggy stamp. And we put together this beautiful cognac blend of warm orangey browns, just perfect with that little doggy there. And then this purple love, that's the color we picked out for the spiral. And it does have a beautiful bronze luster to it to really tie that in with the brown. So that's number 26. Number 27, so I am on to the dog hankies. I don't know if you guys saw these in the, uh, the preview video that we put out um, in the email while we were on vacation. So I have all the days of the week. I have seven days of the week. I think one of them's already sold out. Uh, but these were hankies. That's why they have the day of the week on them so that you wanna keep blowing your nose on the same, um, the same gross hanky. So each one is embroidered with a different dog. These pendants are a little bit larger than the others. Um, like this one's like one and a half inches, whereas the other squares are more like one inch. So I don't know the dog names, I'm really sorry. Um, so if you guys know it, you can shout it out in the comments. But Monday's dog is a large black and white dog. We're putting this with a red blend. So for all of the dog hankies, we matched the Delicas to the text color. And all of these are one each, right? Because they're, they're hankies. Um, so we have a little doggy charm and a dog bowl. We're going to have a red blend for the Delicas. And we're going to put that with a silver spiral. Twenty-eight is our Tuesday doggy. This is a little, I don't know the dog names. It's a little short-legged dog with a coppery brown fur. And here we're gonna have a purple blend for our Tuesday doggy. And then the spiral color is going to be in silver. Uh, and again, we have a doggy charm and a little doggy bowl. Number 29 is our Wednesday doggy. This is a little bit of a different purple to it. Collie, I think it's a collie. Don't quote me on that. Again, we've got our doggy charm, doggy bowl. We're gonna have a beautiful purple blend there. We're gonna put that with the silver spiral. There's our Wednesday doggy. Oh, the backs of the dogs is just the back of the dog so that you could see the detail of the embroidery. So all of, all of these hanky doggies it's right side of the embroidery and then the back side of the embroidery for all of them. Corgi! Not this one, the one before. Okay. So that's 29. Number 30. I, Scotty? I think it's a Scotty. So number number. 30 is our Thursday doggy, and here we have a light blue Delica mix. And here we have a woof charm with a little paw print cut out, a little dog bowl. And again, we're gonna have our silver spiral. So that's number 30. Um, yeah, if you are looking for an item number on the drop down list and you don't see it, like it's, it's gone, that means that it is sold out. 
sorry. Um, yeah, if it's gone from the list, it's, it's sold out. And remember that your kits aren't reserved until you've paid for them. It is possible that you put something in your cart and then when you go to check out, it'll go womp womp, that one sold out and it'll take it out of your cart um, if someone else checks out before you. Friday is a brown dog. This one, I don't know the type of at all. I can't guess. And this one has pink, a lovely, um, mostly opaque pink mix with a little bit of sparkly pink on there. And our charms here, we have the wolf with the cutout paw print and then the dog bowl. So that's number 31. Number 32. Oh, this one I didn't know. That's a poodle. That's our Saturday doggy. And this one has a yellow blend of seed beads. Uh, this is a gray and black poodle. And the charms on here, we have uh, the dog sitting and we have the little dog bowl. So that's number 32. And 33 is sold out already. All right, so that was it. Those were all of our colors. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'm sorry if there was any confusion. I, I knew that there would be something since it's a new system. Um, but if you're having any questions or difficulties, reach out to us by email. Alex and I will be here for about another hour tonight um, monitoring the, the, the chat feeds and our emails to help with any questions. But if you wanna make a purchase, you're going to go to uh, designandorn.com forward slash products forward slash picturesque um, or if you just go to designandorn.com and you go to the menu it's kit of the week that's where you'll find it there um, the picturesque kits are $125 each or if you get two or more in the same order they're $99 each and that discount will apply automatically as soon as you put that second kit into your cart it'll just do it there's no coupon code so that's it thanks so much everybody bye